Hey guys, today's video is what to do when your girlfriend or boyfriend is running hot and cold with you. Um, I just experienced this this year. I had a friend that I was trying to get close with, trying to possibly score a girlfriend. Um, was very attracted to her. Very, this girl was very sweet. You know, she was a she was for the for the most part she was a pretty good friend for the most part. But the problem was we had a clash. Because I want a girlfriend and she just wants to put me in a friend zone. Um, the reason why she just wants to put me in a friend zone is because she already has, she literally literally already has two or three guys behind the scenes of which she was already dating before we started hooking up, you know, as far as like hooking up, hanging out. Um, we've never been like sexual because she already has having sex with other guys. So it was hard for me trying to date this person because, you know, I... I wasn't getting anything, any of my sexual needs met. Um, that being said, that's not the only reason why I hung out with this girl. I actually wanted to find a girlfriend. I actually wanted to find someone that I could maybe live with, somebody that could maybe live with me, share bills, um, be happy together. Um, but nowadays, these women, I swear to God, are very narcissistic, very sociopathic. Um, for example, the first, the, the, the very first night I ever hung out with this girl, she had me like buy her a bottle of wine. Um, here I am thinking I'm going to have a fun night. Um, she literally has me go home at like five o'clock and then has one of her other guy friends come and pick, pick her up. Um, all I ever got from this girl was hot and cold behavior. You know, she'd push me away. I, I'd go away. You know, one time I actually blocked her on, on her phone number and then, and then like a couple weeks went by and she hit me up on Facebook. Hey, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. You know, let's hang out. Hey, can I, can I borrow some money? Can I get this? Can I get that? She always was asking me for stuff. Um, asking me for cash multiple times this week, asked me to put the internet in, uh, in my name to her new apartment. Um, asked me to take her to a bar when I don't drink. Um, very sociopathic, uh, things that she was asking me to do with no regard for how it would make me feel. Why would you ask to take a recovering alcoholic to the bar? Um, just stupid behaviors like that, guys. But she was constantly running hot and cold with me, hot and cold with me, hot and cold with me. She'd push me away. I'd go away. She'd she, Then she'd call me up or she'd hit me up on Facebook and reel me the fuck back in. Uh, one time was like, hey, why are you ignoring my messages? You know, why are you ignoring my messages? You know, call me or whatever. Um, so that's an example of her pulling me in and then I'd get close to her and then she'd push me away again. Um, so it's push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull with this particular female. And how you deal with these type of females, guys, you've got to cut your ties and go. Um, that's what I've had to do recently. Um, she didn't know I had actually blocked her phone number. Um, that's why she thought it, she was just wasn't getting reception or whatever on her phone. And she's like, I don't know why I couldn't get a hold of you. I must not have had reception. No, the truth was I blocked your ass. That's why you couldn't get a hold of me. And then this fucking girl hits me up on Facebook and reels me the fuck back in only to treat me like shit again. Like I said, um, she, she acted like she was doing me a favor by asking me to take her to the bar. Like it was Super Bowl Sunday, she wanted me to come, She wanted me to take her to a bar on Super Bowl Sunday, and then I said I said I wouldn't do it because I don't drink, and then she got all mad at me and ghosted me again for like another couple weeks, guys, and then and then hit me up again. You know what I'm saying, guys? Is she was constantly doing push pull, push pull, push pull, push pull, push pull. She pushed me away and then she pulled me in. She pushed me away and then she put, pulled me in. The only way to deal with these type of women, guys, is to cut your losses. If it's a guy doing it to you women out there, cut your losses. you got to send these people packing. You're going to have to just block them on everything right across the board because they will hit you up. As example, I blocked her phone number and she hit me up on Facebook. Um, that's a perfect example why you have to block across the board these narcissistic individuals um, because they'll just keep hitting you up and, and these people aren't good for you. Um, this girl's her own worst enemy because I would have been a super loving boyfriend to her. I would have bent over backwards for her. I would have been there for her a hundred percent. She could have, you know, got snuggles every night. She could have got breakfast in bed. 
you know, I would have done stuff for her around the house, you know, sexually I'm on point. I would have been an awesome boyfriend for her, but she, for whatever reason, I don't know if she has a drug problem or what. I don't know if these guys she's dating are feeding her drugs, but she just constantly push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And, and so I've recently had to just completely just block her across the board. You know, I've had to block her on Facebook because what's the point? What's the point of this push pull? You know, she asked me to do fucked up shit and then she gets mad when I don't do it. And then she ghosts me for a couple of weeks uh, with no regard for my feelings, how it makes me feel to be ghosted for two or three weeks at a time because she has other narcissistic supply. This is a narcissist female. And I hate to tell you, but she probably has a a co-occurring disorder of uh, borderline because that push-pull behavior is a borderline personality disorder symptom. So most likely this girl has borderline personality because she is pushing and pulling on me. Uh, They push you away, then they pull you back. They push you away, they pull you back. They ghost you for three weeks and then they come back. You know, they'll hit you up. Why are you ignoring me? You know, why am I ignoring you? You just ghosted me for three fucking weeks. That's why I'm ignoring you. Um, so you, you really have to protect your mental health. I mean, there was one time she pushed me away, guys, and I was like really upset at work. You know, she made me like suicidal a couple times. Not that I would actually kill myself, but very, she just made me very emotional, you know, hating my life. You know, why are people treating me like this? You know what I mean? And I'd have to go to work, you know, and be upset, be emotionally upset. And and that's why you watching this, that's why you have to protect yourself and just end this relationship. Because the push-pull behavior can actually make you suicidal. I mean, I I had a girl in the past that almost drove me to suicide with the same behavior. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. That's all she ever did to me. She was a borderline girl and she was a narcissist. It can be a co-occurring disorder. Um, She had absolutely no regard for my feelings, guy. And the push-pull behavior almost took me right out for the count. Literally almost fucking took me out for the count because she went when she was mad at me, she just crinkled me up like a sheet of paper and throw me on like a piece of trash out a car window. Um... So that's why you got to protect yourself against these people because your emotional health matters. You can't be suicidal at work. You can't be crying at work. You can't be emotionally upset at work. I mean, I was a line cook at the time at Applebee's restaurant and this girl had done this pushing away behavior and I was upset and it was hard for me to cook at the time. It was hard for me to be at work at the time because I did miss this person. You know, I had semi become attached to her because I really cared about her a lot. Literally, all I wanted to be was a loving boyfriend to her. And I got nothing but push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. She pushed me away and then she'd pull me back. She pushed me away and then she'd pull me back. Um, I'd get mad at her for cheating on me. I'd get mad at her for like, not that we were together, but we were really close. You know, and she knew I was trying to date on her. So in a way, it was it was kind of cheating because she knew I was trying to date her. She knew I was trying to be like a boyfriend. You know, but she had a couple other guys that she was involved with. You know, even before I started hanging out with her, she said she was dating two men at once. Um, I don't even know really. I never met them because narcissists keep everything behind the scenes. Um, So I'm assuming those were the same guys. Like one of the guys had picked her up at an OUI crash. She had like crashed her car driving drunk and one guy picked her up. It's probably the same boyfriend that she's involved with today. Um, that's why I couldn't win when I was trying to date her. You know, when I got her phone number at the bar, I was thinking, geez, I, I, maybe I got a girlfriend on the horizon, maybe someone I can date. I didn't know that she was just getting my number to be narc supply, you know, for her, for me to be narc supply. Like she hit me up one time for $50. I said, no, she hit me up for $80 one time. I said, no, she asked me to take her to the bar when I don't drink. I said, no. You know, there was just so many times I had to say no and set boundaries with this particular narcissist female because she didn't give a fuck about me. Why the fuck would I give her $80 when she's off fucking other guys, when she's not snuggling me in bed, not watching movies with me, not treating me with respect, love and kindness? Um, if If you women out there have men that treat you like this, 
push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Get rid of their ass. They don't deserve your love. They don't deserve your respect. They don't deserve your attention. You know, people like this literally do not deserve our attention because they don't understand how hurtful it is, that behavior of push-pull. That push-pull behavior is very hurtful. It's very hurtful. It can drive someone to suicide, which, by the way, if you're suicidal tonight, dial 988, the suicide helpline. But you can't be you can't be uh, suicidal at work. You can't be emotionally upset at work. But that's what happens. It actually causes emotional dysregulation, which is that up and down mood. When the when they're doing the push and pull behavior, it can make you really really sad, really upset, really hurt. And that's why you need to protect yourself. Like I did this week. This week I had to block this person and say, "I'm sorry, we're done. You had your chance. We're done." Um. If you were to talk to her, she'd probably say, well, geez, I just wanted to be Steve's friend. But she completely led me on 100%. Like when I first met this girl, she's asking me to buy her wine. Like I think the first night I went over, I bought her a bottle of wine, which is like a boyfriend, a boyfriend would do that. Um, acting like a housewife when I would go see her, she'd prance around the house like a housewife. Um, totally love bombing behavior, which is a narcissist and borderline feature. Um so she's probably narcissistic, probably borderline. Um, absolutely no regard for my feelings. Like when I told her I couldn't take her to the Super Bowl, she ghosted me for another couple of weeks, guys. Um, it's just ridiculous the way they treat their, their, their friends, their partner. They treat them with absolutely no respect, no love, no dignity. Because narcissists, females have a hard time, and men have a hard time accepting love or giving love. They have a hard time with love in general. Um, more than likely, she pushed me away because I was being a loving, a loving friend, a loving boyfriend. She knew I wanted to be her boyfriend. She knew I wanted to take care of her and care about her 100%. Um, but apparently these guys that she's dating, I, if I had to guess, they're giving her cocaine or drugs or something, something that I can't compete with. Because I'm actually a very, very good boyfriend. I mean, one of my ex-girlfriends told me I was very sweet. I was a very sweet guy. She told me I was a wonderful boyfriend. So I know I know, I have so much to offer. And that's why I'm not going to waste my time with a woman that is pushing and pulling on me. Neither should you women out there waste your time on a guy that's pushing and pulling on you. You know, you get close to them. They push you away. Then they call you up. Hey, you want to hang out? You know, they might manipulate you for sex and then push you away again because they got other girlfriends, other other wives on the side. Um, you just got to get the fuck away from these people because I want to I want to just keep living my single bachelor life, you know, where I could maybe meet another girl. But as long as I'm focused on this one person that's not good to me, she's pushing and pulling on me. Um, as long as I'm spending time with her, that's all time that I'm not meeting other women all time that I'm not able to meet a girl that might be able to love me, that might be able to accept my love, that might be able to snuggle me in bed and give me the love and attention that I need, that I could have sex with because I like having sex. I just can't find a fucking normal woman out here to have sex with. They're all fucking narcissists. They're all sociopathic. You know, like one of my ex-girlfriends literally ripped my fucking heart out. Um, you got to protect yourself out here on the streets, guys. You got to protect yourself. The best way to deal with a push and pull is block the person on across the board. Block them. Because the truth is they don't give a fuck about you. They're just keeping you on the back burner for their own narcissistic supply so they can hit you up when they need you. And it's total manipulation, total exploitation. Like this week I heard from this girl. She asked me if I, she said, oh yeah, I'm moving into a new apartment trying to figure out my Wi-Fi situation, was hoping that you could put the internet in your name and then I'll give you $40, $50 a, a month for it. This, literally, that's exactly what she said to me. Why would I do that? I'm not your boyfriend. I'm not, I'm not, you know, you don't treat me good. You don't spend time with me. You don't love me. You don't care about me. You don't care about my feelings. You don't spend time with me. You don't snuggle me. You don't watch TV with me. You don't do things that a girlfriend would do. Like time. Um, if you women want to know what us men really want, we want quality time. That's why I always talk about watching a movie with a girl, snuggling with a girl, 
That's quality time. That's what actually men want. They want quality time with a woman. They want to be able to snuggle a woman in bed and watch a movie. It's not always about sex, even though I actually like sex a lot. It's not always about sex, guys. It's it's for us men. It's about being close to the woman that we love. Um, if you like videos like this, you can subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, no, I don't hate people, but I'm tired of these narcissistic borderline fucking cunts pissing me the fuck off. Till next video, love y'all. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.